you can create a universe of patterns in Procreate that you will love to see on products. But are they going to be fit for print-on-demand? In this class, we will take a close look at resolution, color mode and canvas size. Understanding these fundamentals and the limitations of Procreate is key to all of your print-on-demand adventures. By the end of the class, you will have a clear guideline on how to prepare your canvas for print-on-demand and how to enlarge your pattern to different sizes without losing quality and without using Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator. Hi, my name is Ulrike from Text and Tulip. I'm a digital artist and illustrator based in Germany and I love creating fun and bold patterns in Procreate and bringing them to Society6. Okay, I love especially socks, but print on demand can come in many, many forms and even more sizes that I personally can't stop to explore. Using Procreate has really opened the door for me to play with size and color. It is also my everyday tool for creating mural designs for a creative network here in Germany. This can be, for example, a floral repeat or a huge collage of handwritten words and illustrations. Usually anything that strikes at the heart of the company. Creating this class was a special treat for me as it was a request from one of my students who was struggling to enlarge her Procreate designs to make it suitable for print-on-demand products. So, in this class you will learn the three key settings for print-on-demand in Procreate. First, which resolution will work best. Second, you will get an understanding of the different color modes. And third, the best canvas size for your initial tile. But I will also help you to understand how big your canvas actually is in relation to the real pattern elements of a wallpaper. To keep things interesting, I have created a stamp universe for you to download. You can use this Procreate asset to create your pattern from outer space with me in no time at all. We will then focus on two ways to enlarge your initial tile in a perfect repeat. And yes, there is a plus one. I will also tell you which format in Procreate other than JPEG guarantees the best quality for sharing your design. This class is for intermediate students. You should know the basic features of Procreate and be familiar with pattern design. By the end of the class, you will have your repeat pattern in three different sizes. This could be especially cool if you're taking your first steps in print on demand, especially at Society6. We will have a little sneak peek there. All you need to do as a project is to share a screenshot of your Procreate gallery showing the patterns you created in class. So bring your iPad and the Procreate app. I can't wait to see you in class. Oh, and don't forget to bring a ruler. We'll be going on a pattern hunt to get a real feel for scale. This will be fun. See you.